Two, my HQTs. I am back with your warm and toasty dose of Tuesday trivia. Can you handle the heat? Well, here's someone who can handle the cold pretty well. It was like minus 20 degrees last night in Montreal. That didn't stop Kim K from heading out in this look. Bare chest, bare legs, brave in the eyes with six inch heels, like an Olympic skater or something. Respect to Kim, because I always end up flat on my face in snow boots. I'm Sharon Carpenter, your well heels presenter at your phone's epicenter. And we are in the home stretch of season two right now, counting down to the big season finale this Sunday. Let's see where the prize is right now, shall we? Wowzers! It is now at $117,997. That is enough to defrost your bank account for sure. Now you've only got a few more days to level up. Don't forget, for every point earned by players this season, the prize will keep getting bigger and bigger until the season finale. You'll have to stay tuned to find out just how high it's going to go. Here's how to win points. It's by answering questions correctly and sharing to social from the HQ app. Those points help you reach levels. Leveling up gives you free passes. A free pass keeps you in the game even when you get a question wrong. The higher your level, the more free passes you have. Level 10 is as high as you can go so that should be your goal if you can make it you hit level 10 that means you only have to answer a few questions right to win hq for the rest of the season and kick off those stilettos already because this season we're giving away even more cash than we did the last time around also keep an eye out for those special point multipliers all week long we're multiplying those points yes we are now today you're playing for twenty five hundred dollars that is enough to score several new coats. Perhaps lend one to Kim K. She certainly needs it out there in that weather. But that's not all. You're also playing for 50 million points. It's a lot of points you are playing for today, for sure. Plus, for each point you earn today, we're going to multiply it by 10. That is sure to help you level up in today's game and the entire season now let's talk extra lives that they can keep you in the quiz you can buy one right now if you see it on your screen an extra life means even when you get a question wrong you can still play play hq five days in a row and you score one for free you can use it on any round of course except the final round you know the rules already all right now tomorrow it's time to get in formation that's right beehive we are bringing you Beyonce, trivia night. Who runs the world, the HQ world? Well, we'll find out tomorrow at 9 p.m. Eastern, won't we? Can you put a ring on it? Okay, it's about that time. Can you make it across the icy terrain? Because it's slippery out there, so don't stumble. We're about to get to the quizzing. Are you ready? I hope so, because here we go with Q1. What's the only mammal capable of self-powered flight? Horse, bat, pelican. Doesn't need an airplane to get up there in the sky. Looking for a mammal. When was the last time you saw a horse with wings? Well, you must have been watching way too much My Little Pony, if that's the case, because it's a bat. We were looking for bat, of course, like a bat out of hell. It was not the pelican. <laughs> And it certainly was not the horse. Bats have a bad rap, actually, but 164,398 of you nailed it. Yeah, bats have a bad rap, but they're kind of cute and cuddly when you look at them closely. Probably best to avoid those vampire bats, though, unless you're into the whole blood-sucking thing. Thursday night, we are taking a journey to Middle Earth. If you miss Frodo, Samwise, Gollum, and Gandalf, join us for Lord of the Rings trivia. Don't worry, it's gonna be a lot shorter than the movies are, not three hours long. Can you escape Sauron? Well, we'll find out at 9 p.m. Eastern on Thursday. Can't wait, so much fun. Q2, which of these foods has Mexican origins? Couscous, tacos, Swedish meatballs. Mexican origins. Sorry, frozen. If you will. If you work for Swedish meatballs, your geography knowledge sucks. It's Tuesday, the day specially made for tacos. Taco Tuesday. 
Yeah, I like my, my fish tacos with the, the soft shell, 180,000 of you do as well. Not all tacos are created equal. French tacos are now a thing. Did you hear about them? They're stuffed with fries, a cheesy sauce, and some nuggets. No, merci. I'll stick to the Mexican variety. Your next move, top, spinner, dice. It's better than yoga, that twister is without them meditating. You'll end up in some precarious positions playing Twister, and you're in one now. If you play dice, the top answer here, spinner is what we were looking for. You're spinning around with glee. If you're tapped on spinner, if you're tapped on dice, you've never played Twister ever before. 184,000 of you are pretty gleeful there. Now, you remember that TV jingle, spin the spinner and call the shots? Twister can tie you up in a knot. You don't, do you? All right, well, don't unravel because it's Q4 coming at you right now. A dad joke is often characterized by ending with what? Cuss word, pun, song title. It's like a dad bod. It's not perfect, but we still love it. Dad joke. Don't have to be a dad to tell it. If you weren't for cuss word, who is cussing now? Want to hear a joke about paper? Never mind, it's terrible. And so are the puns. Pun is what we were looking for here. Did you run towards the pun? 170,000 of you certainly did. Now, did you hear about the restaurant on the moon? Great food, no atmosphere. All right, all right, you get the point. Q5. At this year's Oscars, what presenter made an inside joke in the Cosa language? Diego Luna, Trevor Noah, Melissa McCarthy. Cosa, who speaks Cosa around here? It's a bit of a snooze fest, the Oscars, but at least a diverse snooze fest for once. Pulling off the slickest stunt of the night, Trevor Noah. You be knowing on a daily, don't you? Diego Luna, it certainly was not. 110,000 if you be knowing here. Now here's the first part of the joke. Abelungu abayazu bandiag which means in times like these, we are stronger when we fight together than when we try to fight apart. Yeah, right. Well, the punchline is that it really meant white people don't know I'm lying. I didn't know you were lying either, Trevor. All right, Q6. Which part of Egypt is considered to be in Asia, Sinai Peninsula, Nile Delta, Eastern Desert? Yes, Egypt is also in Asia. Did you know this? I hope you did. If you opted for Eastern Desert, it was just a mirage. The triangular mass of land embracing Asian over African roots. The Sinai Peninsula is right there in Asia. And it's pretty mountainous, it is. 88,000 of you made it over the peninsula there. That was a brutal question, though. We lost about half of you there. Few countries are formidable enough to straddle two continents, but the big boys, Egypt, Russia, and Turkey, do just that. We're halfway. Let's do it, players Q7. What causes the common cold virus paramecium bacterium? Uh, 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 oh, oh, excuse me. Hmm. I don't care what causes it. I just want that cold gone, keeping it contagious here. It's the virus, not bacteria, that causes the common cold. 123. Thousand of you went viral right there. Viruses are tiny parasites, while bacteria are one-celled organisms. Now, it's a myth that you can catch a cold by not dressing warmly in winter, but my body begs to differ. I'm sure it's happened to me before. Q8. In the classic book, What Ship Makes the Voyage to Treasure Island, the Admiral Bembo, the Legacy, the Hispaniola. Sailing the Seven Seas. The Admiral Bembo. Gets you no buried treasure here because it's the inn in the book and not a ship. Leaving a legacy is the Hispaniola is the name of the ship. Oh, that was another brutal one right there. Half of you gone, but 66,150 of you are sailing on. Jim Hawkins and Long John Silver set sail looking for treasure after a mutiny and multiple men overboard. They came into the money. Q9. What is the Gangnam? In Gangnam style, a person, a place, or a thing. Opa Gangnam Style. My favorite song ever, by the way. Not, but it's fun. Now you'd think Gangnam was some kind of gallop watching that dance. K-popping its way to the top is a place.
Okay, you sexy ladies and gents. Did you tap on place? Did you know that 152,141 if you certainly did? Now, the vid was the first to hit a billion views on YouTube. It pokes fun at the opulence of Seoul's Gangnam District. Oppa, by the way, meaning big bro or sugar daddy as I interpret it. Q10. Andy Warhol's nickname was a combination of what classic characters? Goofy and Pluto, Dr. Jackal and Mr. Hyde, Cinderella and Dracula. A portmanteau of which two? Well, thank God it's not Goofy and Pluto, or his nickname would have been Galuto. You can stand onto his Drella, Ella, Ella, because it's Cinderella and Dracula. Oh, another toughie right there. Not quite savage, but pretty bad. 24,284 if you're moving on, sucking the blood out of that one. Warhol's crew nicknamed him Drella to reflect his split personality. Needless to say, Andy was none too pleased about the fact. The penultimate round, Q11, who is not in the line of Roman rulers, remembered as the five good emperors, Vespasian, Marcus Aurelius, Adrian. You're doing good, don't turn it bad. The five good emperors presided over the most majestic days of the Roman Empire, but which ruler wasn't good enough? Vespasian. That's who, he didn't make it into the five. 20,760, what if you nailed that? I am impressed right now. Vespasian was the fourth in the year of the four emperors, just before the five better ones. Time to tighten your toga, because we're heading into the final round. 20,761 players left in the game. Almost 3,000 using extra lives to get back in. We've got $2,500. In the bag today, you're doing really well. Can you make it to the end? Let's find out. Q12. What TV show is credited with popularizing the idea of winning an EGOT? American Idol, 30 Rock, Entertainment Tonight. There's been a lot of talk about EGOTs, which is, of course, the Emmy, Grammy, Oscar, and Tony. The voice has been milking the heck of that out of that phrase with EGOT winner John Legend joining the judges. Miami Vice's Philip Michael Thomas coined the term in 1984, but it was a joke by comedian Tracy Morgan that turned it into a cultural touchstone on 30 Rock for the win. We have 19,106 winners. You rock. <laughs> Congratulations, 19,106 winners. You totally rocked the game today. That is absolutely awesome. That is a tremendous amount of winners. That means a lot of points right there, splitting 50 million points. And look at that, you're taking home 13 cents, not bad. It's, it's a little something, right? A little pocket change for you. And 2,617 points. Well done, and remember we multiplied the points as well, times 10. So I'm pretty sure you all leveled up right there. Hopefully you made it to level 10. Now, well done everyone. You navigated those 12 rounds like a championship skater on a rink. You came, you played, you totally slayed. I'm Sharon Carpenter, here's where to find me on the socials. So don't be shy, stop by and say hi. And we're back tonight with more fun points than money. So join us then. In the meantime, have an awesome rest of the day and I will see you soon. Bye.